We have new details. A man is out of jail tonight after he bonded out on charges in connection to animal cruelty. Six months ago, that same man charged with and found guilty of the care and treatment of animals living in the same conditions. Ali Espinosa digging deeper tonight to learn more about animal cruelty laws in the state and how one group is working to change them. Lynn Greco is a lover of dogs, which is what sparks her passion and organization, Animal Voice Alliance. How does one hoard that many dogs um, in a short period of time like that? Greco says when she saw Horry County Police had arrested 61-year-old Herbert Dossier a second time for animal cruelty charges, she knew something more had to be done. The fact that he has, you know, he, he did this before with animal neglect, animal cruelty, and um, I don't know, there, there's, when he went back home after, after that, there should have been red flags. Horry County Police arrested Dossier on Tuesday after 21 dogs were seized from his home in Conway. But just six months ago, he was arrested and found guilty on 59 of the same charges for the treatment of animals. Court documents show he paid $1,000 for dozens of animal abandonment citations in September. Dossier bonded out of jail on Wednesday for his most recent charges. We're still not happy with the animal welfare laws. They've, they've come a long way um, since November 2021 when they were passed. These new laws were passed, but we still are not 100% happy with them. And, and Greco says it's something worth fighting for, and she's determined to bring change. The squeaky wheel gets the oil, <laughs> and we're squeaky. And those 21 dogs are currently being evaluated and cared for at the Horry County Animal Care Center before being able to be adopted by a loving family. In Conway, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News.